Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to review Bitrix24. Now the first thing that I'm going to look on are pricing plans. Then I'm going to give you the walkthrough of the whole tool, what you can find there, how it works. And while I'll be doing that, I'm going to talk to you about the advantages and disadvantages I personally see in Bitrix24. Then I'm going to talk to you about the, like let's say competition, the alternatives. And also really great features you can find in Bitrix24. So let's start. Now Bitrix24 is amazing. Project management, CRM and a lot of stuff that you can do. So it can cover a lot of stuff. By role, marketing, HR, project management, customer service, CRM, calendars, telephony, solo entrepreneurs, rest on remote work, HR. So a lot of stuff. Now when you come here to the Bitrix24, I really like is that uh, you get option to have a free account that's a big thumbs up so you can test it out by yourself. I'd be really happy if you would write down below in the comments your thoughts on Bitrix24. What do you think about it? What do you find they're useful? What do you don't find not that much useful? And you would let me down below in the comments that okay it's all right or it's not that all right. Then you're gonna find the accounts as basic, standard, professional or enterprise. So you see it's based also on users and what do you actually need? And uh, the price here is $61.124.249, which can seems a lot. Now, it really depends what do you need. So let's say that you want it for CRM. So you click here for CRM and you see what it offers, right? So you see that unlimited deals for standard version, quotes for standard, or standard version, then you see the pipelines, the custom fields, and this, the free account is a little bit limited comparing even to the basic one. And you see that it offers a really a lot of stuff. So when you come here that you see that you got only marketing for uh, the standard version. As a bulk email, bulk SMS, Telegram, Facebook Messenger, audiences and all that stuff. So from my perspective, the pricing is kind of all right for a lot of things that you're going to get. And uh, the most advantage is the free account that you can test it out by yourself. Now, when we jump to the tool, uh, what are some advantages and disadvantages I personally see? So from the advantages side is you get a chat and calls. You can have the internal communication is really great here. And you can also option to have file sharing. The second thing is calendar with the meetings and invites and scheduling here. So that's also really good. Then you get also to have a data sharing with the drive work groups that you can have like multiple work groups here, tasks and projects. That's another thing what you can do and combine with efficiency. Uh, like that you can have the employee performances are also calculated on this tool. Now uh, there is advantage and also combined with the disadvantage that you're going to find in Bitrix24 is that how many things it offers. Let's say that you want to use CRM, right? You're going to click on the CRM here. Uh, the thing is that it got such a high learning curve, the highest on the market, I think, comparing to Airtable, comparing to Pipedrive, comparing to Monday.com, ClickUp, HubSpot CRM. This is too much and it really can seem like, oh man, what I'm going to do here, right? You get the customers here, the sales, the analytics, the add-ons, uh, the settings for the CRM. And when you're going to enter it, it can feel really overwhelming. And many people even said that it felt out of date comparing to the competition like pipe drive, etc. So that's another thing which is also really important. And the third disadvantage uh, that for scaling in the future, or if you can have like a lot of stuff, um, you will need a Bitrix partner. I don't think that you can do it alone because even many stuff here is so hidden that you wouldn't be able to find them or create it. Right. So you can simply click here, let's say quick deal. And I can add a name, client, participant and save. Right. Then I can simply move it as much as you want. Then so this is where the CRM you can find. Then you're going to find the tasks and projects what you can use. So you can even combine with the CRM in this regard. You can really, really use it uh, well. And it really depends what you need it for. So when we go further in a project, I can simply click here on the project. I can create a project.
Yeah, sometimes it's a little bit slow. Yeah, okay, we got it already. So we can have a project. I'm going to click next. Features, I'm going to add a project name YouTube channel. Next, I can privacy level have public private secret. So let's say I'm going to have privacy level public. Click next. Then team members, it's me. And I can simply add employees. Next. And voila. Here we got it, right? But even right now, like what this popped up and I got no idea what this is, right? So now I can simply have a project. I'm going to open it. And when I have the project, again, you see a lot of stuff here. I can add a task. So things to do, let's say I'm going to add a YouTube video. And you can have a deadline here. I can add a task. See, and this is how you can simply add a task. And you're going to find a deadline created by responsible person. And now you have option to choose between the list and the Kanban, like in progress or finished. Then you can have a deadline here. So that's another thing, or planner. Right? So this is pretty much it, how we can do it and how we can work with it. What are some alternatives? Now, here comes the stuff. It really depends what you need it for. So you can have the alternatives for uh, Bitrix24 if you want to use CRM as a HubSpot CRM, as a Monday.com CRM, or you want to, you can use a pipe drive. So that's something you can definitely do and can be useful for you. Uh, then for project management, you can use also Airtable. But again, click up Monday.com. Those are also great for the CRM tools and how we can use them. So if you can have any questions, guys, regards this, let me down in comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. You know how it goes. You know how it is. So yeah, thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye. See ya. To summarize it, uh, Bitrix24 is a good tool. You can have a free account, you can test it out, but again, it can get overwhelming. So if you're looking for a really simple tool, go for Asana, go for pipe drive. It will be much better choice.